This is Eduardo Lopez de Casas coming to you on the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. I wanted to share some thoughts with you concerning my many years as a Hispanic music director in the Galveston Houston Diocese. Ever since I read the most recent reports of the Spanish composer Cesario Gabarain and the allegations of sexual abuse against him, I have been totally triggered from the inside out. The Spanish newspaper El País has recognized at least four former students from the Colegio Camberi Marist as having been victimized by Father Gabarain. Truly amazing is the fact that one of the victims, Eduardo Mendoza, reported his abuse in 1978 which may have been the reason Father Gabarain was removed from that school at that time. How can this priest have been allowed to prosper and advance in the Catholic Church if they knew that he was a child molester? Under the blessings and protection of the Vatican, he was named chaplain prelate of Pope John Paul II and conducted many workshops all over the United States. He prayed with cyclists in the Tour de France and even has five of his hymns in the Methodist hymnal. His song, Pescador de Hombres, has been featured in two films and has been translated to more than 80 languages. All of this veneration of Father Gabarain and his music was allowed by the Vatican knowing that he had been accused of molesting young boys. They enabled him to reach the highest levels of respect and honor in the musical world. In my interaction with many churches as a director, soloist, cantor, and instructor, I have not only taught the music of Gabarain and composer David Haas, but I have also performed their compositions on many religious occasions. I have even included Gabarin's Pescador de Hombres in some secular productions that I have produced and directed. The Vatican has enabled Father Cesar Gabarin to become one of the most celebrated composers of Catholic hymns in our lifetime. Since learning of the details of Father Gabarin's transgressions, I have this overwhelming feeling of disgust and uncleanliness because I shared in the distribution and popularization of this music and of these compositions of David Haas. You cannot be a director of Hispanic music without being very closely involved with Gabarain's music, and you cannot be a cantor in the English language masses without being very closely involved in the music of Haas. As if being a victim of sexual abuse is not enough, now I carry the filth and these unholy melodies and my promotion of them because of my work in the Catholic Church. I feel terribly guilty for teaching this music to children and adults in my choirs. Having sung this music myself makes me feel as if I had been an enabler further hurting the victims of these abusive composers. It is imperative that we call on the church to stop singing, selling, or promoting these hymns and remove all hymnals that contain the works of these predators from the churches. The GIA hymnal has over 106 compositions by David Haas, and the Floricanto has many compositions by Cesareo Gabarin. As a matter of fact, the very first musical selection you encounter in the Gather Hymnal is Morning Praise by David Haas. It is imperative that Catholics all over the world call on their parishes to take these hymnals out and destroy them and stop sharing this music with the world. <laughs>